starting day five here, Brett? Day five. Day five, day five. On, on Radio Row. Is that what you call it? Or do you have a different name for it? Wow. Um, the, the the awful row? Something like that? You want to <laughs> see a row? You want to see a wicked jerk spiral? Jerk row. <laughs> wicked spiral? Okay, not bad. I still have the best arm I can. <laughs> I'm going to do it left-handed, though. Right-handed is too easy. Left-handed. Left-handed? Oh! Easily the best left-handed quarterback on Since the Tebow. <laughs> Play with me. Oh, that's why you you're snagging everything. Thank you. It was like five years ago. It's crazy. Thank you. you guys want that pick? Yeah. Yes. Okay, thank you. What are you telling them? Thank you. Thank you, huh? Oh, yeah. You're more than welcome. Thank you. Thank you all. Good luck out there. Ambler, how was your first day back? Tiring. What's <laughs> up? <laughs> <laughs> What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> yeah. Is all week or just one day? All year. What's it up most? Uh you know, I mean it's just great to, you know, first and foremost, coming off a day off, getting used to that. You know, I think some of us had a little bit of a slow start, so we gotta address that. Um, but I think that the defense did some really good things. I think there were some pads that were popping, which is always awesome. We got to run some different run schemes that we wanted to get to that you typically only do with pads. We got to see some of those, so uh, there's some good stuff. What cap is called those doors, the little push pull ones? Uh, I don't know. I, 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 I usually don't pay attention to the doors. Yeah, I mean, me personally. Um, I understand it's your job. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. How does it feel to put the pads back on for the first time in a year? Um, I feel good. It feel a little, a little weird, but um, you know, a little tired, just trying to get back used to it. But it felt good being back out there finally. What about it felt weird? Yeah, I ain't put pads on in years. It's, it's a different feeling, you know. You got to get, you know, a little extra weight on you, you know. Got to get back in a little bit more shape. So that's about it, though. <laughs> I will say I definitely thought the energy was up because the pads were on. It wasn't necessarily full contact yet. Tomorrow the hitting begins. Pads are popping.
Cody, first day pads. What are, you, what are you watching the most? Offense warfare. Offensive line, defensive line, the competitions that are ongoing. And you want to hear that. I guarantee you, let's see. Is there going to be a fight today? Oh, what are you looking for on the first day of pads? Same thing, the edge rushers. Uh -huh. Baron Brownie, Nick Benito, I think those are the two biggest maybe X factors on this roster and we finally get a chance to evaluate them today. <gasps> Evaluating their knees, uh, you know. Right now, we're going to get the get the MRIs, have the doctors look at it. Um, not, I don't, I don't know how good it's going to be, but uh, we'll go ahead and let you guys know as soon as we can. Just to see him go down, you know, is is is, is unexplainable. You know, I just I, I caught a flashback as soon as he fell, so it was just, you know, I don't know what it is still, but you know, we're praying for the best. Did you go into the locker room and see him? Yeah, I, I, I walked off the field. Yeah, yeah, it was. You know, something, it was just, it, that was more important to me. What'd you say? Uh, just pray with him. You know, it hurts, you know, you, you see you see a guy who works his butt off all off season. Um, his preparation is, is second to none. You know, he does everything he's supposed to do to be able to put himself in a position to go out and be successful. So, you know, to see um, see him go down with an injury, you know, it's very, uh, very unfortunate. And, you know, we're just praying for, praying for the best and, you know, um, continuing to pray for him, you know, uh, as we, you know, sit and wait. Thank you. Thanks for appreciate y'all. That's it. Damn. So on a day that had like a lot of excitement around it, you know, first day of pads, like actual contact practice, not that far in, Tim goes down and practice got quiet. Rarely do you hear Broncos headquarters that quiet. Um, they tried to carry on. They literally had to stop practice while the players could go see Tim. And then after that, you know, it's just like, <laughs> it's really hard to care about like training camp practice. We will be out here tomorrow. Hopefully we will be reporting on happier news, mainly just good plays from practice and not any injuries that take place. So thanks for watching this one. We'll see you tomorrow. What do you make of today's jog through? Oh, I'm so hyped. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm, I'm, the people who listen to the podcast are gonna be so disappointed. They want like, yeah, Cortland Sutton finally beat Pat Sertan. Now it's like, yeah, they threw six touchdowns because nobody's trying on defense. I don't know. We'll, we'll make something out of it. I do have to admit, after yesterday's round of injuries, a, a light practice today might not be such a bad idea. Now you ain't gonna put that on there. <laughs> Good job, dog. Thanks, Brian. He wasn't trying to hit that. Uh, safety over the top. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. timing is what we need from you know the offense or whatever I'm always ready to play always so my mentality is always going to be I'm starting you got surgery scheduled on Patrick? no sir we don't right now it's one of those things you want to make sure that the knees nice and nice and ready to be surgically repaired but um, when that happens uh, you know we we'll probably we'll probably release that or put that no I'm not sure how that works but, uh, but no not, nothing yet had you talked to the Broncos at all before the draft uh, no sir Oh really? Yeah, yeah, no, not at all. To be honest with you. Uh -huh. So yeah. How was, many teams did you talk to? Um, well, I talked with a couple teams uh, at the NFLPA game. Okay. Um, a few teams called after that, and I was talking with so uh, a good bit. But Broncos were definitely not like. I literally had no idea. Like I, I didn't even yeah. think Broncos would even be interested in me. Obviously, huh. and it it was crazy how things worked out. Uh, that may have been the Broncos' second jog-through practice of training camp, but that was easily the lightest practice I've ever seen. Jog-through or not, I will be here vlogging every practice, showing you behind the scenes, so make sure to check out the rest of the week spotlights. Hi, Hank. Hi, Ryan. Hank, I want to see if you can follow my thinking and reasoning here. Okay. All right, so they wore pads on Monday, no contact. <laughs> Tuesday, of course, kind of uh, spoiled with Tim Patrick's injury. Mm -hmm. Wednesday, not really a practice. Is today like the first day we're going to actually enjoy pads being on, like actual football Ooh. in a practice? Yeah. Touch wood when you say something like that, but it absolutely should be the first day we enjoy pads.
here, baby. Let's go. The gut. Oh, right here, baby. Right here. You, you. you bad, baby. You all right? Hey, we're going to work, man. Let's go, O line. Don't push over the rope, guys. Don't push over the rope. What's up, what's up, what's up? 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 I'm um, going to go elevate our offense this year. All right, questions for Draymond. How much more do you like padded practices compared to, you know, no padded? I love padded practices. I wish we could do padded practices every day. I'm lying, but no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> now, Zach, am I wrong in saying that that was the most memorable practice from the starting offense that we've had so oh, far. Oh, without a doubt. Without a, finally, some <laughs> offense. Not only did we have a score, multiple scores actually, the offense did well in red zone. The offense did well on deep passes, hit one to Cortland on fourth and four on a move the ball period. It was good day for the offense. It was it a good day for Hank? Yeah, I mean, a little warm, <laughs> a little warm, but there was like real football, no real injuries that you're we good, know of at good. least. I think, uh, yeah, good, good day, good day. Good day. Now let's get inside. Please. <laughs> 30 seconds. Hello. What's up, man? What's up? Hey, Not quite the chaos we saw last week at Back Together Saturday, but that is a decent amount of fans here today for day 10. Yesterday, I was not here for day nine. I was actually at City Park Golf Course shooting some stuff for Big Drive Energy. Well, that'll be up later, you'll see it. Um, but you know what, if you ask someone who was here yesterday, Henry, you were here yesterday, what did I miss? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> exactly. What's up, man? What's up? What's up? How, you How you doing? How's everything? Good. You? Good. Good. What are you doing out here today? We got going. I'm doing what you guys do. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. You're uh, good, man. I'm trying. Hey, you remember him? Oh, four. There you go. What's up, baby? How you been doing? What's up? What are you doing on your day off tomorrow? Sleeping. <laughs> my guy. That's Pac-Man Jones. <laughs> hey, he's one of my favorite old man. That's what he got. Oh, man. We're glad to have you. Thank you. I'd be a Bronco. Jersey Get that to my jersey? No, I can't do that. I like that. I like that. I said the same thing. I like that. 
Oh. Thank you, thank you, my friend. Oh. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Appreciate yeah. it. Uh, I already got you up on miles. Bro. Yeah. What's up, man? Yeah, I got a special one that would probably be better. This is Everson. What's up, Everson? Take that top off for me, Everson. Pull tight. Yeah, there you go. This is Russ. What do you say, bud? He's a big fan. Russ, I'm going to you real quick with your hand. Can Thanks, Russ. Can you see us, man? Thank you, Russ. No. Thanks, guys. Russ! The man clutch. He don't just show up on game day and do it. He do it out here. Like I've always felt when I was a, when I was a, you know, a little young kid, um, coming in the doors of Wisconsin. He got that aura that no matter what, you always in the game. No, but that's how I always felt when he was there. I've always felt like we was in the game. We could be down 14 with 30 seconds left. Um, I always felt like if I got Russell Wilson, I got a shot. Boys, what do we think of that Saturday? Oh, so hot, so hot, <laughs> and. Matt McChesney has slapped me on the back. I don't think I'm walking for the rest of the week. <laughs> so, another good day from the offense. I was hoping that it wouldn't, uh... <laughs> Roman Bean, don't you dare just photobomb. Now you have to talk about it. Would you say the offense won again? Me and Almonds. If you ask Nathaniel Hackett, he'll tell you now the defense. Oh! A little bit farther ahead. Okay. In his opinion. I did like some throwing of hands and the way Hackett handled it. He said, kick, kick the guys out. Calmed him down and then... Made him hug. And made him hug, made him hug it out. So it was good. You wanted to see how that was going to unfold. I appreciated that. All right, let's get off this fucking blacktop. Yeah. Yeah, it's... It's hot, I can't breathe. It is.